he wasn't trying to cure some type of population or give uh, give interventions to some type of population. He was he was trying to create an oasis. He was trying to change the world. I love behavior analysis. I love working with children with autism, but I want to know what else is out there. Well, today, Andrew and I have you. We're going to rewind, head back to a trip in 2019 to go visit Behavioral Services of the Rockies. And after a quick discussion, give you the Behavioral Gerontology Starter Pack. Let's roll that intro. <laughs> I love working with children with autism. I love working with adults with developmental disabilities, but I know that this science of applied behavior analysis is generalizable across all populations. It doesn't matter if you behave, um, interventions can be effective as long as you have yeah. the appropriate intervention, yeah. correct? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, um, so I wanted to branch out into something else just for myself to be a stronger behavior analyst. So I talked to her and I got approved for that site. So 500 out of my 750 was at okay. a place called the Fountains of Melbourne in Melbourne, Florida. Um, it's a residential living facility. My clients were anywhere from maybe 75. I think my oldest was 100, 101. Okay. Um, and I thought it was fascinating. Um, What's the differences between like the the two different ones there. Like, uh, Absolutely. So, so as far as, yeah, so as far as whenever I say behavior gerontology, I'm mainly talking about um, individuals diagnosed with some type of dementia. Mm -hmm. um, so oftentimes, and if you think about the ABCs, the antecedents, behavior consequences, one classic symptom of dementia is, is forgetfulness, right? Yeah. Cognitive decline. And so oftentimes if they come into contact with the reinforcer, they forget. Right, and so is it really a reinforcer if it's yeah. not increasing the probability that behavior is going to create right. in the future? Yes. So, oftentimes with my interventions, it was very much stem control and focusing on those antecedents. Okay. Big plastered signs um, to increase some type of performance. Yeah. Um, maybe some types of task analyses with um, shower behavior. Yeah. Um, Do you ever read Skinner's Enjoying Old Age? I have read it. <laughs> like ten, at least ten times. Okay. Yeah, I've skimmed it. What? It's, it's phenomenal. What's your some? What's the cliff notes of it? Um, you know, honestly, you know, with with Skinner, it's it's really fascinating. I I, I love reading Skinner's work, and he he saw the generalizability in this in this field, and he he wasn't trying to cure some type of population or give a uh, give interventions to some type of population he was he was trying to create an oasis he was trying to change the world and if you look even and whether it be enjoying old age girl behavior um, science yes. organisms what have you his examples and he might have like 30 examples for one claim uh he's classic for that yeah but it's um it's all macro type level different things and so um he's he was one of the first of its kind to really see that there was, you know, um, some like completely different possibilities. Absolutely, like how you can go about yeah designing and a culture. Absolutely, for people. sure. Yeah. yeah. So oftentimes, what I tell people, whenever, whenever I say I'm a behavior analyst, typically people, depending on the types of regions, they say, "Oh, you work with children with autism." Yeah. And I tell them my story, and I was like, "But well, that's how I got into the field. I started working with children with autism." Then um, I started working with um, adolescents. Then I got down to FIT, started uh, dabbling a lot in OBM type of related work with business. Mm -hmm. uh, then I got into behavior gerontology. So my youngest client was about 18 months old. My oldest client was 100, 102. Yeah. And then people just take a step back and they're like, whoa. Yeah. This, uh, it's like it, a whole lifespan. Yeah, for yeah. sure. And so um, I really, Telling people those stories, they they stop thinking about behavior analysis as just this type of therapy for a specific population. Um, and it's just my it's my gateway to say, if you behave and you have proper interventions into place, it's going to yeah you know 
how to achieve whatever your goal is. Yeah, right? so, absolutely. Yeah, for lasting change and increasing quality of life and, and so on and so forth. And that's really our big mission here, right? All right, your starter pack is linked down below. Please make sure you like, share, subscribe. It actually makes a difference and consider helping support at patreon.com. It actually is what fuels this fire and makes content like this possible. Thank you, Travis and the team at BSOTR for making this episode happen. And I'll see you in the next one. That's your daily BA. Oh,